And the final bucket is around workflow. And this is about individuals and teams working more efficiently. The first set of enhancements here is around collaboration in teams. And we have some exciting things in store for you as a result, again, of our acquisition of Sentia. The first one is a brand new enterprise grade notebook system that not only is gonna capture, auto capture some notes for you as you're, you're highlighting things and commenting in the platform. It's also gonna make sharing those notes a lot easier. We're gonna expand the number of options you have to export notes and share them across your teams and your organizations into tools like Slack and Teams. The second thing around collaboration in Teams is around dashboard. We're working on a tool to make it easier to set up whole team experiences in AlphaSense all at once so that dashboards can be shared more easily so that people have a standard way to monitor their universe across teams. The second bucket is around our table tool sets. On the right hand side, you can see again, a mockup of what our new table explorer tool will look like. And this will give you the ability to model, to manipulate, to eventually visualize data that you find in tables in AlphaSense in a custom model builder. And we'll call that our table explorer tool. Keep an eye out for that. And then our final bucket of enhancements around workflow is around enterprise and integrations. We have a whole slew of things ready, well, not ready yet, they will be ready. We have a whole slew of things that will be launched around our enterprise offering, and that including our API tool set, we're expanding those. We are um, expanding into giving people admin permissions around roles and permissions. And then of course our integrations largely focused on not only helping you ingest information into AlphaSense with a two-way sync, but also helping you send information out of AlphaSense into the wider organization. So definitely keep an eye out for some of those enhancements as they land in 2023.